As the need for energy storage rises, researchers in Houghton are proposing an innovative solution. My UP's Jessica Gosca tells us how one Upper Peninsula mines could become the future site of hydroelectric power. Abandoned hard rock mines in the Upper Peninsula could become the next solution to grid scale energy needs. Researchers at Michigan Technological University have proposed an idea to smooth the curve of energy demand while restoring life to one's vibrant and integral parts of UP communities. Their idea is to install a pumped underground storage hydropower system inside hard metal mines. When energy demand is low, the push system works by moving water upward from a lower reservoir into an upper level one, where the water and its potential energy are stored. When energy demand becomes high and expensive, that water is released back into the lower reservoir, and that movement generates electricity. These kinds of battery systems aren't new, but building them in closed loops underground in hard rock mines would be. It makes a lot of sense from a planning perspective to think about just moving that entire system underground in a closed loop system that has a much smaller environmental footprint, a much smaller physical footprint, and doesn't require you to cut down forest or convert farm fields or pasture land into reservoirs. With the amount of underground mines, if it is something that could be feasible and it could scale over time, I mean, that's a, that's a reuse of sites that, for the most part, are fenced off and unusable. To explore the idea, MTU researchers worked with the City of Nagani in the Cliffs Shaft Mine Museum to create a 3D model of the Matherby Mine. University students conducted a pre-feasibility study to determine the possible energy capacity of the mine. The study results have since been published in the Mather Report. The principal objective of, this project, of that project, funded by the uh, Sloan Foundation, was to really determine whether this research idea is worth pursuing, and if it is, where and how. So, and we have answered that question with an overwhelming yes. For the past few years, the MTU researchers have continued their exploratory research on mines across the United States, and they have facilitated conversations with business leaders and organizations involved with the idea at the state, federal, and even international level. What they found is that despite the obvious challenges that come with dewatering, repurposing, and repermitting a mine, the idea is possible, and many mines within the UP could house these systems with the right sign. There are definite challenges, right? And, and, in, and they'll be very different in different kinds of places, different kinds of mines, different kinds of energy technologies. But here's the thing. Um, um, all, none of the challenges are, are insurmountable. They are things that we're very good at. We Complex system doesn't mean that it, it's a system that cannot be understood. As a matter of fact, you know, the, the challenges of understanding the system and the rewards that come with it, I think they're all worth it. More details about the proposed project are available on myupnow.com. For MyUP News, this is Jessica Gaskett.